Hi guys and welcome for another spring cleaning video. Today I'll be starting with deep cleaning our upstairs bathroom, the sink, the toilet, the bathtub, the floors, baseboards, everything in that bathroom. Switching to the baby's bedroom will tidy up that messy room, wipe the dust, spot clean the walls and the baseboards, manually deep clean the carpets and just get everything nice and ready and fresh for spring. And then I got a spring project which is cleaning my plant shelves and upgrading my flower pots. I'll show you a couple of designs you can easily apply to your flower pots, which by the way you can get at Walmart for a dollar or two depending on the size, and this is the first time I've ever painted a pot myself. And then you can go online and check out for yourself how much you would pay for those pots if they were professionally made. But we're going to start deep cleaning that dirty bathroom. As I'm sitting here doing this voiceover, I was gonna start apologizing for the look of this bathroom. However, I stopped for a minute and thought that this is a cleaning channel and I'm sure you didn't come here to watch me clean things that are already clean. So things get dirty and I try to keep up. That's not always possible. And also I'm trying to keep it a judgment-free zone here on this channel. So here's the disgusting bathroom. We are going to clean it absolutely spotless. Also, my name is Jenya and I have been married to my American husband for about three years now. We have two little kids together. My daughter Anya is two years old, my son Max just turned one. Our cat is the oldest sibling, she is three. We got her on the first week after our marriage and her name is Katya. Here on this new channel I like making cleaning as well as organizing videos and including an occasional room makeover as well as a home improvement DIY. I like showing everything real life and doing everything on the budget. In fact, the next video on my channel is going to be my kitchen cabinets makeover which I completely DIY painted myself and I can't tell you just how beautiful it turned out. I gotta show you in my next video and I hope you will stick around for that. As for today, I hope this deep spring cleaning video will bring you plenty of cleaning motivation, will set you in the right mood to get your house nice, fresh, clean and ready for spring. Let me know in the comments if the spring has come to your area yet or not. I am here in the state of Georgia and a few days ago we actually experienced a snowstorm all of a sudden out of nowhere. We already had spring fully on and then all of a sudden it started snowing. It doesn't even really snow here in the winter time so that was pretty bizarre. That snowstorm went through a few states actually so let me know in the comments if the spring has come to your area yet and if you have started the spring cleaning yet. I'm looking for 
I of course do have a mop in the house, however, I sometimes prefer to just manually clean the floors whenever it comes to tile or the kitchen floors. It's just extremely oddly, weirdly satisfying to me to just manually clean it with a wet microfiber cloth and see how all the dust and dirt ends up on the cloth and how they just become so clean and nice and fresh and sparkling right in front of your eyes. Let me know if you feel the same way, but that's just how I do things sometimes. I actually prefer doing it manually instead of using a mop. So now the bathroom is nice and clean. As far as the towels go, I only had to switch the hand towel for the clean one. The other two I just put in the other day so I didn't have to bother. And now we're switching to my son's bedroom. So it's a bit of a disaster. Um, before I start deep cleaning, I'll also I'll obviously have to tidy up first and he is one year old so he doesn't clean much and um, we'll have to help him out here today. I'm gonna start with picking things up from the floor and all over and just tidy up, uh, wipe the dust a little bit and then start deep cleaning our carpet.
So when it comes to cleaning my baby's bedroom, I like to use something natural and mild and a lot of times I just mix it myself. So today I'm just using a couple of drops of Dawn dishwashing soap in a spray bottle topped with water. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk. Okay, so when it comes to carpet cleaning, we don't have a machine, so we're gonna do it manually with baking soda and vinegar today. So there's a lot of how-tos and the timing always differs when it comes to how long to leave baking soda and vinegar on your carpet. I decided to make it work for me since we have babies here and they need to sleep, so I'm not doing anything overnight. It's just not possible for me. So I'm just gonna spray the baking soda and what, uh, that what suits me better is to leave it for about 15 minutes for it to just absorb all the smell and whatever it does <laughs> to your carpet and then we'll get to the vinegar part. Obviously the longer you leave the baking soda on your carpet the better such as a couple of hours at least or even overnight but some of the websites I read actually offer just to leave it for about 15 minutes and I decided that would work just fine for me so that's what we are doing and when it comes to vinegar I'm just going to use white vinegar because we don't want any discoloration on our carpet So now I'm gonna spray the vinegar over the carpet which has baking soda on it and that's what helps to get that fuzzy reaction of soda and vinegar that helps you dissolve the stains and any kind of gunky messes on the carpet. Our carpet is not actually in the worst shape possible. It's relatively new, we just installed it a few months ago, so that's why I'm not bothering to leave anything overnight today. I'm an old school man I only want to fall in love once With an old school girl Old school girl, old school girl. When I know, I'll know Hand in hand like love, right? Now it's been a few hours and the carpet is dry, I'm going to vacuum it. Doing a deep spring cleaning of any house, even a small one, is a huge job and I'm not even going to attempt to do this all in one go. So I'm dividing my house into parts and going area by area. So today we're doing my son's bedroom and the kids bathroom and then last week I did the living room and pretty much the whole of the downstairs, deep spring cleaning. Obviously there's plenty of the house left for more cleaning and I think I'm going to make one or two more videos videos on that topic and call it a series. Are you the same? Are you the same? Can we get comfortable? I don't really like going out. It makes me uncomfortable. Comfortable, yeah. We could be chilling on the sofa Or cooking in the kitchen like left, right, left, right, oh, oh Are you the same? Something got stuck in the filter over my vacuum so I had to wash the filter and let it dry Are you the same? Are you the same?
I wasn't sure what to do because I had to wait for 24 hours for the filter to dry and I just decided to do the baseboards in the meanwhile and then I remembered that I had my old vacuum in the closet so I'm gonna pull it out and vacuum the rest of the room once I'm done with the baseboards. Also when it comes to walls and baseboards I normally clean them with Fabuloso mixed with water. Are you the same? I think I pulled this bed out and back about three times today because of the whole confusion with the vacuum. So the vacuum that's resting right now is Dyson V10 cordless. My husband got it for me for Christmas and I'm in love with it to a point where I was actually going to get rid of my old one because I wasn't sure if I was ever really going to need it again. So I was watching a cleaning video the other day and the lady mentioned that there is no really cordless vacuums nowadays that are as powerful as the old ones with the wires. And as I was vacuuming that room with that old vacuum, it occurred to me just how powerful it actually is and in fact I am never going to get rid of it unless I don't know I have to or something so when it comes to my Dyson V10 I'm in love with that one I'm going to use it every day for everyday messes but with this vacuum with the cord I'm going to use it for some serious serious jobs and to handle my emotions I was those are my plant shelves with uh, my plants in the sour cream containers. I've got to do something about that. So I'm going to paint some pots. I got them from Walmart, small ones for a dollar and bigger ones for less than two. I had some leftover paint from painting my kitchen cabinets in that little tray, so I decided not to waste it. That's what I'm doing now. So I watched a few YouTube videos on how to paint pots and then I compared the prices on Etsy if I were to buy them and it shocked me. So I went and bought, bought a few clay pots from Walmart, like I said, and I just started painting them I got so excited and inspired that I literally just spent hours doing that so this is my first time painting pots and I just started trying everything that I've seen on those videos and everything that could come to mind if you happen to be a plant lady you probably know how expensive beautiful flower pots can get here I'm not trying to show off any of my style or my painting color preference I'm just trying to show you the ideas the designs and the techniques behind them my pots are not going to be matching in color and design too much but that's not the point though I'll pick my style later right now I'm just trying all these different things I'm just excited and I hope to give you a couple of ideas I hope that this is useful for you maybe you'll pick up one or two designs that you like because right now in spring is the best time to repot your plants also please do share in the comments if you have your own ideas if you do have experience in in painting pots and Oh my god, I would just love to hear what you gotta say about painting pots. I got this cord from Walmart for less than $4 and it was surprising to me because I always thought for some reason that it would cost me much more money. So that was pretty awesome. I used a bunch of it on quite a few pots and I covered a couple of pots completely and I still had some left over. By the way, for painting I used chalk paint, acrylic paint, whatever I had in my garage.
in the video they did that with fire I guess for I don't know you're just supposed to do that this tray was in my kids toys so I decided to use it as a little propagation station as well as my husband's shot glasses <laughs> so I think I might stain this little tray I don't know let me know in the comments if you have an opinion Those little leaves I drew with a permanent marker. Sometimes you can see a little something behind my paint, that's because not all of my ideas turned out to be good, so I had to paint over some of my ideas which you can see through my paint. Now I gotta wipe these shelves. I will be honest here, I don't do that very often because I simply forget just how dirty they can get. So I'm gonna put all the pots on the shelves so that you can see all the after shots. If you have any questions or opinions on today's video, please leave me a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. If you liked this video today, I hope you don't forget to press the thumbs up button and also I hope to see you in my next video next week, which is going to be kitchen makeover and have a wonderful week. Thank you, bye bye.